Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Uh, and uh, this next fight, uh, let's talk about it. On uh, December 11 against Brock Jervis, it's probably uh, the hardest fight uh, for you uh, based on the records and you know, based on what I've seen of Brock Jervis. Undefeated. Yeah, so he's undefeated. He's uh, trained by a legendary uh, Australian fighter, Jeff Fennick, who's a three-division world champion. Um, he's got a, he's 17 fights, 15 knockouts. Uh, he's, he's, been, he's knocked out a few Filipinos, so I'm going to have yeah. to get it, back, get it back for the Filipinos. He's not going to knock this one out. So, look, he's a good fighter, um, and, you know, he's got, he's got some skills, but I believe I have the better skill set. I believe I'm an all-around better boxer. And uh, this training camp has been going really well. I've had some good sparring. Um, you know, the last time he fought was uh, just a couple of weeks after that I fought. So we, we've had the long, the same kind of inactive um, days. So it's going to be it's going to be fairly even when we get when we get there uh, on the night. But in the ring is going to be a different story. I'm going to I'm going to dominate and destroy this kid. I like the confidence, uh, and uh, you know, I, I'm happy to see that uh, 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 for you. Th- were you the one who called him out as well? Uh, yeah, I've been yeah, reading. Um, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk to me about I'm the story. I'm the I'm the Australian I'm the Australian champion, and he's yet to fight any Australians. You see, and he hasn't. You know, they're saying that he was the best, and and uh, he wasn't getting any fights due to COVID because he, he couldn't fly anyone over. And so we put the hand up and we've been calling him out for a little over two years and they, they never really acknowledged us until now. And um, obviously with the restrictions and whatnot, they've got no choice but to fight us. The promoter wants, their promoter wanted the fight and it makes sense because, you know, it's an all, all domestic uh, clash. You know, the, the fight fans want to see it. There's the rivalry there. Um, you know, and there's a lot of build up, a lot of a lot of hype behind the fight, and um, like I said, the rivalry's there, and it's been brewing up for the last you know year and a half, and then the last six months has been really really brewing up. So come fight night, there's going to be a lot of eyes watching, and um, you know I plan on putting on a show. I'm loving it. I wanted to learn a little bit more about uh, this rivalry you've been talking about. Uh, I am not that though, aware of the history. Uh, because there is a team Ellis, team Fennick, uh, Lester Ellis, and uh, Jeff Fennick. They, these are Australian boxing legends. Talk to me about uh, the story behind uh, this rivalry. Just a bit of history from you know Filipino yeah, fans who may yeah. not be aware. So when when Jeff Fennick was fighting and Lester Ellis were fighting, uh, Jake Lester Ellis is my uh, promoter's father, who was a world champion at nineteen. Um, he was a super featherweight lightweight champion of the world and um there was a time where jeff fennick was also world champion and there was talks of them having a fight but it never eventuated and um due to the weight divisions it was a bit different but they could afford it they could have met at a weight but it never happened so that rivalry stems from there um and now with me being promoted by jake ellis and uh brock jarvis being trained by jeff fennick that's where the rivalry is there, you see. So it's more like, you know, it didn't happen then, but now with with me uh, being with Jake Ellis and, and Lester Ellis stable and uh, obviously Brock being with Jeff, it's kind of like the modern day Jeff Fennick and Lester Ellis uh, fight, you know, and we have very similar styles. You know, he's also, he's, he's almost a mirror image of uh, Jeff Fennick's fighting style where I'm, you know, very similar to uh, Lester Ellis who was a, uh, boxer puncher. Um, I feel that I'm a bit more of a slicks, more, def- uh, he was more aggressive with, you know, Lester Ellis, more aggressive where well, I'm more patient and slick. But either way, I, I like to fight aggressive. I like to fight for the knockout, get the knockout. And, um, you know, if I win on points, I win on points, but I win, you know, dominating on points. I don't, I don't like to just be safe and, you know, I want to entertain right. the fans. I, I, want, I want to leave an impression every time I fight. Powercast Sports. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.